Hey Clashers, it's Clamor League, and this match right now is, uh, well, a little bit close overall, and we have to turn that around with my three attacks. Let's just dive into the first plan with this base. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play a Queen Charge Hybrid. I'm going to do a Yeti Blimp, though, to start things off. Do a Queen Charge in here. The Queen is going to hopefully walk around this side with the Hybrid then coming along and hopefully pushing everything in here with the King Funneling. And I hope that my Queen is actually going down with the healers then switching over to the Hybrid and helping them to push through this back end. That's the plan. Let's dive in and hopefully collect the first 3 star. And we are in. Let's have some fun hopefully and hopefully get some nice 3 stars. So what I'm going to start things off is with that Queen. So the Queen at the top side. Then we're going to place two healers and my blimp to get that expert out of way. We don't want to ooh, maybe like the healers now. Let's raise that up to get the expo. And we're doing out the clan cast as well, which is another great thing about this. So we have the defending headhunters. That's good. Taking those out, we can have the headhunter. And I'm adding the apprentice warden to speed things up just a little bit. The queen should go in, I think, after this one. I think I'm pretty sure that she should go in after this. Um, should we actually use something? Maybe like one miner and a wizard to make sure that she's 100% going in. I'm a little bit afraid about that one. So now she should go in for sure. Going then to the left side. The rage tower is already triggered, which is really good news for us. Do we have to use the rage right now, though? I feel like right now we're looking good. Apprentice Warden is staying alive, giving us some more power with and some more options to get through this part of the base. Nice rage. Now we have to worry about time, as my queen is having to walk around this entire side and get towards the town hall. That might be a problem. Let's just start some balloons. We're going to start the king right here and then the hybrid in a little bit as well to push everything through. As the queen is going around that side, let's just start with that. Head hunter, hog riders, everything in there. Looking good so far. Let's add the field spell. The queen should go for the town hall. Let's add the rage here. And that is looking amazing. King hopefully is going around the outside. When do we use the warning ability? Maybe now. I think now the warning ability might be really nicely timed. We have to be careful with this back end though. Those look like really dangerous defenses. Let's freeze that. The queen is staying alive, which is amazing for us right now. Let's freeze that right again. So far, it's looking not too bad. Not too bad. We have the invisibility spell, which we can use. Let's just use it right here. I think that might be a good time to use that invisibility. Queen is looking good as well. She still has her ability, which is great for us. There's some red mines. We've been scared about red mine farm and my heat is going down. That would be not too great. Not gonna lie. Okay, Queen has her ability still left. So maybe we should take... We can take some buildings out here. No, the tornado trap is... No, the time! Time is ticking! No way! No way, I already said that time might be an issue. Let's use the wizard right here, archer right there. Can we speed things up just a little bit? Come on, Queen. Go, go, go! You got this, you got this! Another wall break! Defending Royal Champ is going down! 12 seconds. Can we make this work? Maybe it can work. 10 seconds. Come on, take down the scatter. Take down the scatter, guys. And we got this 3 star. Let's go. There we go. First 3 star on the board. That's exactly what we want to see. Let's keep the momentum going. Next base, next plan versus this one now. This looks like a really annoying base, but I hope that I can make this work. The plan on this one is to have my queen charging in here, recalling her so she can get in here with then Super Bowlers joining her and we can break her into this Rage Tower. We can use the jump to get all the way to the Town Hall. We're going to use the Siege Barracks to find on this side of the base. Then we're going to use my King to go for the Scatter Shot. The same as my Royal Champion getting added to push around the back end. That's the plan. I hope it can work. Let's dive in. We are good to go to hopefully take down this base. Siege Barracks selected and then we're getting this Queen in here. Queen first. Wall break, going for that corner. That's nice for us. And we have to make sure that we're getting the final right. Maybe a Yeti right here. Test loon, and then one, two, three, four healers. Defending Royal Champion, we should be able to take that out with the Headhunter, looking good. And then the Bear Dragon should get this pathing right there and should get everything set. So we have to, I think we have to use, should we use a Rage? That's the question. I mean, 
I would just use a rage. I think power wise it would have been not needed, but just time wise I like to use it right here. Uh, because otherwise I'm just really scared of time pads with this strategy. I would like to prefer having a freeze or something for the back end still left. So that's kind of the reasoning right now. Recall the queen, I think. Would we get the expo? Let's just take the expo. Why not? Let's just take the expo. I take that. So now the recall. Recalling the queen right here. And adding another healer. Now we have to funnel this top side. So like that and this. We add the warden as well. Now the ice golem down here. We're adding the super bolus as well. Looking good, looking good. We can add the titan as well. Some test loons. Wall breaks. Right here. We got the wall open, I think. Let's use the jump spell now as intended. We can use this here. The bolus, everything is running in. I think so, right? Right. Right. Warn ability now. I think the warn ability was really good for us. Now we can use. Um, or should we use even anything? King ability can be used. Looking good, looking good otherwise. Um, Royal champion can be still used. We can do that. Should we do it now? I think we will just do it right now. Gen keep pushing forward. Let's use the freeze right here to freeze everything together so the raid tower is not going off too early. Everything is now getting rotated onto one spot, which I think is really good for us. Um, as everything is getting healed up from our healers. You can turn things invisible if you want to. Let's just turn things invisible at this point. No way, there's going to be a lot of red mines behind this. This kind of sucks, not gonna lie. All those red mines are going to take down our healers. The queen is ooh, in a lot of danger. Queen ability. Can we take down the king? That would be nice. That would be really, really nice for us. Time is ticking, guys. Time is ticking. The wizard is running, though. The wizards are trying their best. Come on, archers, wizard, everything at the top side. Royal champion, having her ability. That is massive for us. Come on, come on. Royal champion ability now. And that should be it, right? I think that should be it. We get another three star. There we go. Different strategies, different bases. Taking those bases out. And as far as I know, I think pretty much all of those bases are world championship bases. So this makes it feel even better, to be honest. I mean, this is quite exciting. Let's get the next base. Can we do three attacks, three three stars? That would be really important for us on this one. Next attack is versus this wonderful looking base. I will place a wall break right here. If it's going to target the wall directly, that's awesome. But I think it would go left or right, depending on where it goes. Let's say it goes left, then the wall should be open somewhere here, which is good. Then I will place my queen. I will use a Yeti to find the stop set. I will use a Flinger to go around this stop set as well, like the Siege Machine. The queen is supposed to charge in here. We can use the king to funnel this right side. And then we're going to have later on my hogs going through this side right there. That is the plan. Well, let's hope that's going to work as intended. And let's have some fun with maybe another three star. Let's go. Let's have some fun. Let's start things off with this wall break as intended. So wall break. Perfect. It's targeting, actually targeting the wall perfectly as we were hoping for. Now this a wizard right there and my queen to get everything going. Test loon to place our healers just like that. Should be out of range of everything, hopefully. And then we have to get our queen going with the first rage. We have to be careful with the with the freeze, uh, with, like, with the single phone tower. But I think that should be good to go. The flingers keep going. That's good. We can always place a cleanup. Troop right there. Some test loons to make sure that if there are any black mines. There might be another black mine. Let's see if we can target that. Come on, is there another black mine? Red mine, that's fine, that's fine. Getting that out early, that's nice. Okay, and even the tornado trap is triggered. That is like some really, really good value for us. So another rage, we can still use the invis at any point. Let's just freeze that. So the queen is staying alive. Come on, take down. Yes, she took down the town of first. Now the poison is looking, this is looking amazing right now. Should we use the king now? I think we will use the king right here now for supporting my queen and pushing her further in. I would like to wall break everything in between. That would be amazing for my queen. Let's just keep going. The king is going indeed. Baby dragon push everything back in. We can use then in just a second maybe a hog rider to take that defense. Now the next wall break to get everything into the core. Let's use some more wall breaks so maybe we can see where everything is going. More wall, wall breaks. Always better wall breaks, right? Next. Rage. I see use the invis at any point. Oh no, the queen is staying behind that wall. That kind of sucks, not gonna lie, but hey, it's okay. Queen ability now. And let's add the hogs. I think we will start on the right side. 
just like that. I will tell in the exact second why I started right here. Because I think this is... No! Quite important. Oh no, but the healers are switching. The healers are switching, that's not too bad. But this kind of means now that the scatter on the back is getting taken care of. That's why I started over here. That's pretty much the only reason. I think that's pretty nice to start like that. We have the head on us going. Let's see, let's see. Come on. One ability now to at least have one of the head on us inside that ability. We need to make sure that we're overpowering this back end now. Come on, we have to hit the freeze. We have to hit the freeze. Let's talk about when should we use it. When should we use that last freeze? Can we go three out of three? That would be incredible. Let's maybe... Right now the expo is locked onto my Yeti, which is spawning more Yeti mites. So I do not want to freeze it, actually. We have to clean up everywhere. Maybe corner clean up like that freeze now. That should be a 3 star, right? That should be a 3 star. As soon as that's going down, we'll use the Royal Champ ability, take down some more buildings, and that is it. 3 3 stars. Perfect episode for me. Though, with the with the match on the line, I think... Uh, what was the other attack which was going on? Was it another 3 star? I'm not sure. Either way, we have... Oh, yes, it was! Anki getting another 3 star. We have now gotten 4 3 stars back to back. And because the other guys got 2 1 stars, this might be the victory. As long as we only get 2 stars at this point, this should be a win. This is massive, especially losing the first match. But hey, I still hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to know if you won this match, actually, make sure that you're stopping by with the next Clan War League video, as I will let you know how that went. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys back tomorrow with the next one. Until then, see ya and bye bye.